All right, Brian, thank you. Turning now to the race for the White House, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio is under new scrutiny for how much time he's spending on the road and how little time he spends at City Hall. The New York Post reports de Blasio clocked just seven hours at City Hall, where his office is, in the month of May, the month he launched his bid for the White House. So, is it time for him to drop out and focus on his day job? Let's talk to New York Assemblyman Mike LaPetri, who says, yes, drop out. Right, Mike? Oh, absolutely. I mean, right now what you're seeing is someone who, frankly, is no show de Blasio. I mean, to be quite, to be quite frank, uh, I mean, it's actually better, in my opinion, because the less he's in New York, the less damage he does to the city. Then why are you complaining? Keep him in Iowa and New Hampshire. At the same time, you know, we actually care about our dignity, and it's embarrassment right now for New York State, New York City. What's happening, what you're seeing is in New York City, while he's gone, homelessness is rampant, criminals are emboldened, police are disrespected, but... Quite honestly, I'm shocked to even logged that many hours at City Hall. Well, but you know, in the last couple of weeks, Mike, uh, there have been a number, uh, at least one police union, uh, given what has happened to uh, one of the police officers here who was dismissed after the Eric Garner uh, uh, died uh, incident. Uh, they've called for uh, Mr. de Blasio to resign, but you say he should resign as well. Oh, absolutely. I mean, not only withdraw from presidential campaign, which frankly is anemic, but on top of it, he should resign from being mayor because he doesn't care about the people. I'm, I'm waiting for his letter to say, dear New York City, right. I'm over you. <laughs> but here's the thing. He's out on the stump. Uh, he's in Iowa and he's in New Hampshire. And he's talking about all of his achievements in New York City, where he does not really work much. Yeah, it's uh, frankly a smokescreen to distract from the poor job he's doing as mayor. I mean, you say he's campaigning, but at the same time he's over in Nevada vacationing on the, uh, the campaign donations he gets. So which one is it really? Right. And, and uh, the latest irony is when you look at his polling average, and keep in mind to get into the last uh, the last, uh, the next debate, which is coming up shortly, you had to, uh, I think, had be at two percent. He is at 0.4 percent, uh, which is embarrassing. And we saw in the Iowa State Fair and I think the Minnesota State Fair as well, where everybody gets to drop a bean yeah. into a bowl to figure out the popularity. I think one of those bowls didn't have any de Blasio beans. I don't, I don't think so. And, you know, it's funny because the only time he really unites New York City is for his presidential campaign where everybody agrees that don't run, please don't do this. Well, now here's the thing. Mike, a de Blasio spokesperson told the New York Post, no matter where the mayor is, he can be on the road. You know, they got phones there. They got uh, faxes. They got all sorts of gizmos. He's still delivering for the city. Delivering what? He's delivering absolutely nothing. I mean, what you're seeing in New York State, in New York State, New York City, I mean, New York City especially, you have hundreds of thousands of people who are fleeing the city. It's operating in billions of dollars in debt. Delivering what? And uh, the slogan you had at the beginning was no show. De no Blasio. show de Blasio. Are the Republicans here in uh, New York City going to print those up and put them on bumper stickers? I hope we have flyers parading around the city showing that. Interesting stuff. All right. Uh, Mike LaPetri, New York Assemblyman. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Thank right. you. Thank you, sir. What do you think about that? Email us, friends at foxnews.com.